I thought of converting my desktop to a gaming PC. I really missed gaming, so I went ahead and installed a graphics card on my Windows PC and added 32 gigs of RAM. Then I realized, as I was installing games from Steam, I did not have enough disk space, as I only had 120 gigs. I didn't want to reinstall Windows and all the apps with it, so I thought of cloning my SSD to a larger 2TB SSD. Although there are apps available, most of them are paid, and I did not want to install any more apps that I would end up using just once. The method I will show you today is free and can be used on Windows, Linux, or Mac on an HDD, SSD, NVMe, or SATA. I will show you how to clone a hard drive or an SSD for free. Whether you're using Windows, Linux, or Mac OS, you can use this method I will be showing you. We do not need to buy any third-party software or app to do this. Basically, I will be growing my C drive by copying all of the contents of my existing SSD to a new and bigger SSD. I will be using Gparted, DD, and also Plena Etcher or Rufus to write the ISO image. Here, we can see both drives connected to my computer. The existing drive I have is 120 gigs, but it is fast running out of space. The new drive I just got is 2 terabytes, more than enough for now for my requirements. Things we will need. All we really need is this computer that's running on Windows, and of course, a 16 gig USB drive for us to be able to write the ISO image of Gparted. It does not matter what operating system you're using, as long as you can boot via USB, you can use this method. Gparted is a free partition manager that allows you to resize, copy, and move partitions for free. By using the live ISO image, you don't even have to install anything. It's very easy and convenient, especially for a noob like me. DD, on the other hand, is a command line utility whose primary purpose is to convert and copy files. We will start by downloading the ISO image of Gparted from gparted.org. Go to the download section and download the live bootable image. Once finished downloading, download Rufus or Bolena Etcher if you have not done so yet. Select the image, then select the USB drive as the target. Make sure you are selecting the correct USB drive as this process will erase anything that is saved on the drive selected. Once we've successfully flashed the image to the USB drive, we can reboot the PC. Log into your BIOS to make sure we are booting into the USB drive by selecting USB as the primary boot device. With some MSI motherboards, you can do this by just dragging the USB drive icon to the front. Make sure to save the configuration changes, then exit to restart the PC. On reboot, you should now have the option to select Gparted Live. This will run Gparted on the same PC that you have your drives installed, but using the USB drive. This is not installing Gparted on your PC. Select Don't Touch Key Map, then answer the questions when prompted by selecting the number corresponding to your answer, 33 for English and 0 to start Gparted automatically. Once Gparted boots up, you should see the same SSD drives that were installed on the Windows machine. This is the 2TB SSD that's basically empty, and this is the 120GB SSD that we want to copy. Now we will use the command line to use DD. Click on Terminal. Remember which drive you want to copy and which drive you want to copy to. Type in the script that is below in the description. DD is the command. IF is the input file or the drive you want to copy. OF is the output file or the drive you want to copy to. BS is block size, which we will put at 1M to so copy blocks. Status equals progress is optional. This is so we can see the progress as blocks are copied. When ready, press enter to start the process. Depending on the amount of data you are copying, it may take some time. Once the process is done, restart Gparted. If you get the message, click fix, make the correction as your system requires.
then apply all operations. Now we can exit Cheaparted, shut down the machine and reboot this time without the USB drive and with the old 120GB SSD removed, your machine should boot normally in Windows. On checking disk management, we now see that we are using the 2TB SSD to boot into Windows. It seems I was not able to apply the fix in Gparted, but no worries, Windows did boot up properly and we can easily fix this in Windows with disk management. I hope this video helped. Stay tuned for an update to this gaming PC soon.